So in previous video, we have installed the TWRP on our uh, uh, Redmi 12 5G. So in this video, I will be routing it. So for this, uh, I'm going to use one of the popular method, which is uh, flashing the Magisk on our device. So to do that, you can visit the GitHub uh, top John Go page uh, where this account will be posting all the Magisk. So the recent version when I was uh, installing, when I was recording it is uh, Magisk 26.4. So we have a uh, few quick updates. So here I will be uh, getting this uh, Magisk 26.4.apk. So you no need to worry, it is a APK file or something, but uh, this APK file will help us to install the Magisk on our device. So now I have uh, downloaded this Magisk. So here I have my Magisk. So next what I have to do is, uh, in the previous video we have installed the uh, TWRP. So here I also have set up the device in the offline. So why I have done is to check after installing the Magisk whether uh, it is uh, doing any boot loop or something. So uh, right after this video I will make uh, that uh, boot loop fix video or how to revert back to uh, MIUA or flash the MIUA video so that whenever you feel the uh, whenever you receive the boot loop uh, issue you can uh, solve it. So what I can do is I will just uh, power this device off. So Google Assistant will work that is fine. So I will power off. Now I have to boot this device to TWRP. For that, I have to use uh, the combination of volume up and uh, power button. So here I have that volume up and power. Okay. Once it is vibrate, you can uh, leave it. Also here you can see this is showing the device is unlock. So now we are in the uh, TWRP. So how we are going to install is uh, we can uh, easily copy this uh, TWR sorry Magisk in our uh, storage and we can install it. That is one way. The other way is uh, which I all uh, most of the time use is the ADB side load method. So for this, what I have to do is I already have the ADB side load uh, tool here. That was the previous previous one. Okay, so this uh, you can download it from the link in the description. So once you uh, download that zip file and uh, extract it, you will get these files. So simply you can uh, select here and uh, type CMD. Okay, so now the CMD will open inside this uh, particular folder. So you can go back uh, here and go to root. Okay, here I have the Magisk file. Okay, so now in the mobile you have to go to uh, twrp we already booted so where you have to go is you have to go to advanced and in the advanced you have the option called adb side load which you can click and you don't need to do wipe cache and this and all so once you have enabled the adb side load you can connect your data cable and okay so now the side load is uh, enabled what i can do is here i can check whether the device is connected or not so for that adb devices so now the device is connected through side load uh, uh, configuration. So now what I have to do is uh, comment is simple here also you can see what you have to do. You can type uh, adb space side load okay and then you can simply drag and drop this uh, Magisk package okay simple. Next what I have to do well uh, I can just simply click uh, enter okay. So here also you can see it is started installing and it also found that it is a AB partition one. So uh, it is uh, flashing both uh, in the A partition also in the B partition. So yeah. No, I guess it is uh, just a mass shoot. Okay. 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 So now uh, this has been, uh, this is I guess only it is considering as a single partition not AB I guess because we are in uh, uh, MIUA due to that reason. So yeah, it is now uh, installed this uh, particular Magisk. So now I can directly reboot to the system. So if it is booting properly, well, uh, it is well and good. If it is having any boot loop issue or something, I have to flash the uh, boot image. Uh, so the good uh, key point is before even you doing or installing magisk uh, have a backup of your uh, boot uh, partition which i will show just uh, after this okay forgot to show how to uh, take the backup of your boot image so like this you have to do before installing magisk so if you get the boot loop uh, you can uh, probably uh, revert it back by just uh, restoring the boot uh, image Okay, 
so now uh, my storage also fully decrypted so what you have to do is you have to go to backup and uh, here you have the boot uh, partition which you can select and you can select internal and take the backup of uh, that particular uh, boot partition okay so oh it is this much big it's nearly 6 gb i should not select the data i just need a boot partition okay that's what i thought okay. so 128 mb so this 128 mb keep a backup if you have a sd card keep a backup in that and uh, if you want if you are facing boot loop or something reboot through the recovery uh, by holding volume up and uh, power button and then go to restore and here it will show both the things so i have to take the latest one here i can see the boot image you can simply uh, flash it so the this one will go what i will say uh, routing will go but uh, uh, your device uh, eventually will boot uh, to the os so before proceeding into the video uh, i have to tell that this particular uh, video is part of our redmi 12 5g uh, development series if you are watching this in the middle or something make sure uh, you check out that uh, playlist uh, to get uh, more idea on uh, how uh, the things are getting done all the way from unlocking the bootloader and installing the custom room so yeah make sure to visit the playlist also uh, make sure you install the magis uh, only uh, right before or right after uh, flashing the rom uh, because if you set up all the things and if you install magis on top of that maybe you you may get the uh, boot loop issue or something that time you will be already setting up your device fully and if you get boot loop means it will be a headache even though you can recover it so now uh, i have uh, successfully installed this uh, magis here so what i have to do is um, here somewhere uh, magisk will be there magisk okay so now it is uh, showing here you can see so it, it looks weird but uh, you have to connect to internet so i will connect to my wi-fi okay so now what i have to do is i have to open the magisk yes so you have to download the magisk uh, from this uh, website so it will just install that packages in the root folder uh, but on top of that application and all you have to install it uh, manually once you boot into the system so yeah so not sure why it is taking uh, this long i'll also try to copy that uh, twrp um, I'm not sure why it is taking quite some time so I will just uh... so this downloading was not at all working so what I have uh, done is I have uh, as you know I have uh, copied this uh, magisk file uh, apk from the my computer to here and then I just uh, uh, enabled the unknown uh, sources and then I have uh, installed it so it is also showing it doesn't have any security issues no risk detected so what I have done is after that I have opened it so now it is requiring for additional steps so i click ok and select the patch file uh, direct install so which i will be going to do so oh, let's go okay so now i have uh, installed so i have to do the reboot this is the where uh, it gets uh, sometimes uh, <laughs> uh, will get a boot loop so for that reason i would say before even you prepare your device for daily uh, drive or something make sure you set up the uh, magisk manager so yeah also 90 percent 90 percentage of the problem when you are uh, routing your device uh, using magisk uh, mainly happen due to the corruption of uh, boot image so 
if we take a backup of that boot image before even installing it it would be great so now we have installed the magis uh, successfully we even can uh, yeah so now it is installed and zygote is not enabled ram disk yes latest uh, and uh, this package and everything installed so here also you can see super user is uh, enabled and uh, if you want to install any module you can download the module from any website and you can directly uh, flash it uh, through here from the storage i will install a uh, root checker now also i have made a uh, some uh, video on how to uh, uh, enable the payment apps and uh, safety net after installing the magisk i will make sure to leave the link in the description and in the uh, i button so you can watch uh, that one as well okay root checker basic i have installed okay so now i can verify the root now uh, our uh, super so what magisk has uh, uh, triggered so i can grant so you can see we have uh, successfully uh, uh, what enabled the uh, root out of our uh, device so that's a great thing so yeah that's all about this video in next video we will see one uh, good uh, cool stuff about uh, redmi 12 5g all right